श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्तबिंद समित श्रीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वाछाकलपतरु अश्य के पास सिंधु बेबच पति पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखंकोति वाचाल पंगुंगलंगतगिरी यत्तमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदावी तुषिदेव पिया वै केशव सृष्णक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत् नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदात गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर धेय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भीताहम पुनुपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुषते चरुणारिंद यदपल्लवनखचंदमनीछटा विस्फुजीत कमूष्वादर्शि पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति सारादि कामी कदा कि श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्रीअदैतगदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्रीअदैत गाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे अजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरो कमलायुताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पादुपंकज सुरासुरुंदी तो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दासी नीचम भावान सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तबाम भाग नारायणो प्रियमनंगमदापहारम वरानुशिपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुष्व बदने लक्ष्मीश च वक्षसी यस्ते संबीत सिंह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे अनादिधनम बभ्य शब्द तत्व जदक्षरम निवर्तते अर्थ भावीन पक्रिया जगत यत अनादिधनम ब्रह्म शब्द तत्व जदक्षर निवर्तते अर्थ भावीन पक्रिया जगत यत गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दैट मायावादी ऑलवेज वांट टू डेस्ट्रॉय भगवान भगवत स्वरूप गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दैट मायावादी दे लाइक टू डेस्ट्रॉय द भगवत स्वरूप दे डोंट लाइक टू एक्सेप्ट भगवत स्वरूप Kongso was Mayavadi. He wanted to destroy Krishna. What problem? We can kill Krishna. Then nobody will be there to look what we are doing. So better we can kill Krishna. Jara Sando want to destroy Krishna. Sisubal like to destroy Krishna. Ravan like to destroy the Shakti of Bhagwan. Those all are the symptoms of Mayavadis. those were the symptoms of mayavadi what is the symptom mayavadi either they they like to destroy bhagwan or they like to abduct the shakti of bhagwan we cannot keep shakti without power this is the symptom of mayavadi in the material world you can see in our gauriya mart they are there if you talk with them they are the mayavadi in the guise of gauriya devotee that's why pope had told that's why pope had told that's why pope had told the time from when all mayavadis in the guise of vaishnava started entering into our mat try to understand i am not making any dry philosophy so practical so practical maybe you have some bias and you can say why you are speaking this way it's true pope had told Papa told the time from when all mayavadi gradually started entering to gauri mat in the guise of devotees from them all problems started previously it was not like that at the time of gauranga mahaprabhu some wayward devotees some karmi a mayavadi they wanted to get entry but they were kicked out but now If you are Mayavadi, if you are, if you are Mayavadi, you can come, come, you see it, come, you see it, can give big place. Devotees they cannot do. Devotees you go out, eh? get out. Devotees they can, they have problem. They can speak. Why you are doing this? They are all problem. So better you can, ah, you can go away. It's very good. Baba singing, from then onward. Harikatha, feminine of Harikatha started. When he started driving away pure Guru Vishnu from temple, when the point when we started and eh, driving away all pure Vishnu go away. From then the scarcity of Harikatha, feminine of Harikatha started. Who can speak Harikatha? A professor cannot speak Harikatha. I maybe as professor see. Maybe, but he cannot speak Harikatha. I am not a professor, so that you can expect a nice professor from me. I am not languages, so that you can nice nice language from me. What you can expect from me, the direct realization which I have received from my Guru Pad Padma, that you can expect. We are less interested to hear dry philosophy lecture. We we are we have no time to hear lecture. We have no time to hear lecture. we have so many engagement dry we have no time to hear lecture lecture who man care to hear lecture you are it we like to hear direct feeling 
If you have a direct feeling, you have done Sadguru Seva, then we are very much in What kind of feeling you have received? That is very. That's why Prabhupada pointing out, those are the secret Siddhanta, by the help of which you can get protection. Otherwise, any time you can fall down. Any time, any moment. Those are the protection. By the help of you can protect yourself. You can know oh, this, you can understand. Then you can protect yourself and you can help yourself in the way of pure bhajan. No possibility. Oh, we are surrounded by Maya. We are surrounded by Maya, all around Maya. Maya and Mayavadi. Maya is there, I mean, Mayavadi also there. Maya mean, Mayavadi also there. All around. No question of one drop of pure devo devotion, practice, bhakti, one drop of bhakti. Very hard time at present. At present we are running through a very hard time. So much money, position, eating, sleeping, everything. But one drop of it, don't want one drop of it. That we cannot give. We can give. Accommodation, prasadam, AC, DC, all facilities. But one drop of bhakti we cannot give. Very rare. Very, very rare. Impossible. So, Prabhupada speaking, those are the symptoms. These are the, these are the symptoms of Mayavada. Either you can watch, they can try to destroy Bhagavan. And or they can try to abduct the Sakti from Bhagavan. They like to uh, make Bhagavan free of Sakti. That is the symptom. Kongso wanted to destroy Krishna, always. Shishupal wanted to destroy Krishna. Jarasandha wanted to They all wanted to destroy ah, That's a useless. If Krishna is there, they can be big problem. You can see what we are doing wrong or right, a big problem. And Ravan wanted to abduct Shakti of Bhagavan, Sita. Ravan going to do abduct Sita. These all are the symptoms of Mayavadi. What is the symptom of Mayavadi? How you know? Gauru Bimuk Nijo Jani Jani Por. Gauru Bimuk Nijo Jani Jani Por. Bhakti Muntaka wrote one Kirtan. Gauru Bimuk Nijo Jani Jani Por. Those who are aversive to Gauranga. Though they are my near and dear one, but still I can think they are, they have no relationship with me. If my father is against Gauranga, I leave my father. Go away. I can get father every life, but I cannot get Krishna. Every life, every life I can say father, mother, every life. Every life I can get. So, Guru Vaishnava I cannot get. At any cost, I can maintain my relationship with them. At any cost. I cannot. So, Bhakti Mnod Thakur writing, Gaur Abhimukh Nijo Jani Jani Par. Those who are externally my dear and near one. But they are aversive to Gauranga. Against Gauranga. How you can realize? Maharaj, they are with Tilak, Mala, Sanyas base, Acharya, how you can say? You can identify. Prabhupada is Prabhupada giving answer. Bhakti Mato writing the first verse. Bhakti Mato writing the first verse. And Prabhupada giving the answer, scientific answer. How you can realize? How you can realize that he or she is against Gauranga? How? He is saffron cloth, sannyas. Talking sweetly with everybody. He used to say Mahavadi. Gaurabhimuk. How? Papa speaking. That is a symptom. Like, you know, doctor saying the pulse. After that can understand here. This is this way. Guru Vaishnava is having so much idea. They can look at somebody, behavior, activities. Immediately they understand. 
is Mayavadi. In the guise of devotee. How? You can see their behavior is very sweet. Very sweet. Without laughing, not speaking even a single word. But that laughing is a kind of a sword for you. They are laughing. They are laughing very nicely, speaking with me, smiling. But their smiling itself is one kind of sword by the whole of which can kill you. Money, your devotional life. You cannot believe. Practically, I have seen in my life. Practically. Very smiling, joking. But in the smiling mood, they can kill. A devotional film, devotional life, destroyed. So, Prabhupada is giving scientific answer. Prabhupada giving scientific answer. How to detect that he is actually against Gauriya, Gauranga. He is in the temple, watching Arati, everything he is doing. How you say? Prabhupada speaking, very carefully you can see, he don't understand pure sadhu to speak Harikatha. He don't understand the pure etiquette maintained by Guru Vaishnava. You can understand by watching his writing, there is nothing, no connection with our Guru Varga. His writing, his expression has no connection with Guru Varga. That can prove that he is against Guru Vaishnava. He don't want pure Guru Vaishnava stay. But externally you can understand. If we are if we are not in line with our Guru Bhargava, more or less we are Mayavadi. Papa speaking, we all are more or less contaminated with Mayavad. How? I am Vaishnav. More or less, some contamination is there. Because what do you mean by what is the what is the basic what is the basic Bichar of Mayavad. What is the most basic foundation of Mayavad? What is the most basic foundation of Mayavad? Mayavadi can never believe the eternal existence of Bhagavan. They never believe the eternal existence of Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan, Dhananya. Dhamma, Nama, That is the basic disease. That is the basic disease. They never realize the Guru, Vaishnava, eternally present. I told that day, if I speak some one or two philosophy, they are fi if I speak some, uh, the, some of their philosophical understanding, you can start laughing. Like Guru Tattva. First of all, I can speak Guru Tattva. We, according to Gauriya Siddhanta Vishar, we realize Gurudev is eternally present. That is the most basic foundation of our devotional life. If we think Gurudev, Bhakti Vinkan, Bhartima died, already gone, and finished. No. Guru Vargo there. They are watching me. If I have this kind of conception, the Gurudev gone. Uh, Mayavadi it is. Gurudev eternally present. So, I can speak one philosophical understanding of Guru Tattva, what Mayavadi feeling. Mayavadi accepting some policeman at Guru. Eh? Policeman as Guru? Yes. How I can say? You cannot believe. I go on explaining. Mayavadi always accept, ex accepting one foolish man, foolish personality as Guru. Foolish man who is not Siddha, who is ordinary. Because those who are going to attain Brahma, according to their, try to concentrate on this point. If at all somebody going to attain Brahma path, if somebody in course of his practice going to attain Brahma path, so Brahma path means he is, uh, he is failing of Brahma. Where he is, if somebody attain, if somebody, if somebody attaining Brahma path, Brahma, Brahma, Brahma path means have Brahma stage. I am Brahma. One word. If somebody in course of his practicing Mayavad, Mayavad practicing, he is doing his mantra. Finally, he is realizing, realizing I am Brahma. Aham Brahmasmi. Now understand. 
Aham Brahmasmi, I myself is a Brahma, that is their success of bhajan. I am myself is Brahma. I attained this Brahma path. That is their success of bhajan. Their success, not our. So, when they are attending this stage, then they are not going to see you, me, see, he, nothing. Brahmapad means Sarvam Khalu Idam Brahma. All Brahma. Who are you? Who am I? Nothing else. All Brahma. In that case, he cannot give any teaching to his disciple. Try to get my point. It's very difficult for you to understand. Those who are here in Gauriyamat for a long time, 40 years, 50 years, hearing so high Harikat, then you can know. Otherwise, big problem. Because Mayavadi, when feeling that I am already attaining Brahmapad, in that case, his, his darshan is just equal now. You are Brahma, I am Brahma. Like that day, Santamara told, stick is Brahma, I am Brahma, you are Brahma. So why you are fearing? So in that case, when you are feeling that all Brahma, all Brahma, no disparity, all Brahma, then how you can teach your disciple? Don't understand. To teach a disciple, Sadguru mele bhed vatame gyan kare upadesh kaila ka maila chute jab aak kare pravesh. Very simple one sloka by Tulsi Das Ji. Very easy to understand. Sadguru mele bhed batave. When I meet with Sadguru, I submit. Sadguru says, Hey, you come. Foolish, you don't know anything. Sadguru speaking, This is Maya. This is Bhagavan. This is Dham. This is Nam. This way we will have to do bhajan. That's when. Don't go there. They are not doing. Don't go there. That means, Sadguru must maintain some criteria. He must point out, hey, it is bad. Don't go there. If he is not speaking any mean good and bad, if you father not teaching any good and bad to your child, how he can learn? Follow? Point. So, a guru, Sadguru must point out, this is wrong. You have done wrong. Don't go there. They can destroy your bhajan. Don't take prasadam there. Come here. This way, Sadguru is bound to point out all your faults. Sadguru is bound to point out your faults. Different, because I am new, I know new. I can make mistake. So you will have to rectify. If Sadguru is going to say, well, everything is Brahma, so why should I find fault with him? Let him let. Then no question of any teaching. Where from the question of teaching can arise? No question of teaching. No? I am Brahma, my son is Brahma, father Brahma, mother Brahma, everybody Brahma. Then no question of teaching. So, when they are realizing that we are Brahma, Brahma means they are equal side. Actually not equal side. It is one kind of drama. But they feel okay. As per their suggestion, as per their understanding, if I say this way, oh, say, okay. if I am now Brahma, I feel I am Brahma, nothing else. If you are Brahma, so surely you are not going to find out fault with your desire. Hey, what you are doing? Cannot speak because you are Brahma. In that case, it is not possible for you to act as Guru at present because you attend Brahma. Then whom to accept as Guru? You can accept one foolish man as Guru who is not attaining Brahma. Who is not yet attaining Brahma. Are you? What is the utility of accepting this kind of Brahma? Ah, this is the utility. They feel. One bonded soul is not realized at present. Realized so will be even because realization is related with our Vaishnava Darshan. But realization there. I at least if they think, feel a yeah, Brahma, I am Brahma, Aham Brahmasmi, in that case no disparity there, nothing. They can feel, who is disciple? All Brahma. Then you are surely not going to teach. It is not possible for him to see. Not possible. So, you can accept one foolish man who is not still as yet not accepting uh, and attaining that stage. 
So according to Mayabad, their Guru Tattva is unstable Tattva. According to Mayabad, try to get this point. According to Mayabad, their Guru Tattva is a matter of joking. They are according to according to Mayabad, their Guru Tattva itself on one kind of joking. Who man care to accept this kind of guru who is foolish? Who, who can accept? Surely not, but they accept. They are doing Guru Puja. If, you, if I take you there in Haridwar, Varanasi, you can go mad. Big Guru Puja. How much money you are spending for Guru Puja? Very small amount. Uh, they are attending. Big Guru Puja. But their Guru Puja is one kind of drama. They are doing Guru Puja. All Harikata is speaking. Harikata means not Harikata, Mayavad. Mayavad Bichar. All they are calling all Mayavad Sanyasi, they are speaking big, big philosophy on Mayavad. And after that, they are worshipping Guru. But their worshipping is one kind of drama. Because there is no reality. Whereas you don't understand Guru Tattva, you have no understanding that Guru Dev is eternal with the what kind of utility of this Guru Puja. Is one kind of foolishness, wastage of time and money. This is the Guru Puja. More enthusiastic way they are doing Guru Puja. Follow. I can show you even in Vrindavan, inside Vrindavan, so much Mayavadi. I can take you to Raman Rati. You can see Maharaj, nice temple. Nice temple, deity is there. Radha, uh, Kovinda or uh, whatever deity, there is Radha Govinda there. But you don't know they are Mayavadi. Deity is there. They are also doing Arati. They are also like us, offering Boga, everything. But they are Mayavadi. You cannot understand. You cannot understand. Some symptoms are there by the help of which you can come to know. Otherwise, you like foolish, you can say, ah, they are Vaishnava Mara, they are offering everything. Arati. Their deity is like a puppet. Their deity, their deity is there. Their deity is there. We have our deity on temple. Papa, they install. Those who are foolish men installing any deity, I am not speaking about. I am not going there because it is prohibited by Ramana Vishayaju. Those who are foolish, not Siddha Mahatma, those who are not Siddha Mahatma, those who are going to install any deity, I should not go there. Any deity already installed by a Mahapurus, exalted devotee, who can invite Bhagavan, you can come in the form of this deity, take service from us, then otherwise I cannot. That's why I am not going anywhere. Many devotees requested me to install deity. I said, no, I cannot do If you like to hear Harikatha, you hear deity, I can, because I know. Today you can install devotee, tomorrow you can insult deity. It happened in the life of my Guru Maharaj. Whole life Guru Maharaj doing different kind of ritualistic activities, yagya or deity installation or a new place going to open, mandir installation. But ultimately Guru Maharaj got a big, you know, pain. One I don't like to name one uh, pair of deities, Radha, Govinda, something, or Gauranga Mahapu also. Many deities in the, in the temple and all the temples of Madhav Goswami Maharaj, most of the deities installed by Srila Bhakti Bhavad Puri Goswami Maharaj or Srila Vaikhanas Goswami Maharaj, both of them. So, one such uh, pair of deities were installed in Calcutta. One pair of deities was installed by my Guru Maharaj. After that, two Brahmachari fight with each other. After that, kill one Brahmachari, one Brahmachari kill. After that, he was arrested, he was taken to jail for 12 years, and all police, policemen still locked the temple. Nobody can enter. This way, then Guru Maharaj started crying heavily. Started crying heavily. Oh, my installed deity, not getting any water, puja. Oh, mentally he started worshipping. 
Mentally he started worshipping that deity. It is my responsibility. I install deity. So deity installs in our Gauriya Sampradaya. In our Gauriya Sampradaya, one so-called devotee of Sila Bhakti Vita Madhu Actually, he is Mayavadi. But previously it was not uh, uh, visible. Later on, it was he was caught at Mayavadi. By chance, he is in the guise of devotees. He is requesting one Acharya. He is requesting one Acharya from Bardhaman. Maharaj, if you could come here, we can pay everything. Deity installation we can do. He order for deity. I come to the original point. This can uh, give you some confirmation. That's why I'm speaking. In a Gauri Sampada. He is doing Hanuman Siddhi. He is doing Tapasha for Hanuman to come. Hanumanji Maharaj speaking, what you want? I want money, position, temple, all we Hanumanji, okay. You take. He went on chanting one special mantra of Hanuman. Hanuman physically not coming. Somehow he give indication. I can give you what you want. But finally what happened? He is acquiring one big plot of land in Govardhan, which is crores of rupees. So costly. Acquiring. Because money getting by the blessing of Hanumanji. But we should not do it. After that, temple already installed. After that, he liked to install deities. By that time, Bhakti Vallabh Tittu Goswami was sick, I think. I cannot remember. Anyway, he is calling one Acharya to install deity. He from Bardhaman going there, Vaishnava Acharya. He had a nice relationship with me. He went there. He installed deity with big enthusiastic mood. After that, everything done. Next day, a very in early in the morning, try to understand the point. Very early in the morning, he is uh, going to Nandogam for darshan. He is going to Nandogam, Barsana for different darshan. Very early in the morning, even before Aruti. They are, prob they are Aruti in Vindavan, 5 o'clock, 5.30. Because sunrise is late. So Maharaj gone for Nandogram Barsana. Next day, I mean one day after, Maharaj coming back to the temple and going to pay pranam to the deity, he is shocked by seeing the deity. Hare, same garland, what I offered one day before, same garland, same clothes, like, like idol, you know. Like idol. Like a puppet standing. He started crying, Oh my God, he's Mayavadi. I could not realize. Oh my God, how I how and why I install this deity? It's Mayavati. Is no Arati, nothing, no Boga for Mayavati. So inside our Gorio devotional field, those who are in the guise of devotee, most of them Mayavadi. Most of them Mayavadi. If not 100%, 50%, 80%, 60%, 20%, somehow Mayavadi. That's why Popa told, we are all somehow contaminated with Mayavadi Vichar. Because we are not having 100, 100% believe in Guru Vishnu Bhagavan. We are not Mayavadi. But somehow we are lacking. We are lacking Vaishnavism to some extent. Lapo, 20% believe I still, I will have to recover, 20%. 80% I believe Guru Vaishnav, not 100%. That 20% is Mayavad. Don't become angry. If 5% believe still you will have to recover, then five, by 5% five you are Mayavad. According to the percentage of your disbelief in Guru Vaishnav, you are contaminated with Mayavad Bija. Follow what I say? So, I can take you to Vrindavan and show you. You can say, Maharaj, big temple, they are doing Harati, but they are Mahavadi. But you don't know. In course of my 
Chola Sikhar forest, forest traveling. I used to do every year almost. All forest, different. Follow. It was my practice. So, in course of that, sometime I used to go to this place. Ramanrathi is a very important place. I must go because there Krishna Lila is there. Maybe it is acquired by Mayavadi. But the place is originally. So, I go there. But I am not taking their prasadam. Whenever I used to go, they are distributing prasadam daily. They are distributing prasadam daily to outside people. All sannyas is coming distributed. That is very good. But actually they are Mayavadi. One Mayavadi from Rajasthan, very famous Mayavadi. Very famous. I have letter. He wrote letter to me. Maharaj, uh, there is one big jagya. Could you please come, attain this function? But I know he is Mayavadi. I didn't go. He is taking care of three lakhs of Gomata. He is, is taking care of three lakhs of Gomata. Big area, all big area. Big area, all covered, all Gomata is there. Three lakhs Gomata. I have the letter, I can show you. He wrote me letter with big appreciation, Maharaj, your uh, Gomata book, cow books is very nice. Actually, you have done a great seva for Gomata. I hear it. I read it. But I don't go there because I know Mayavadi. It's Mayavadi. I don't go. So, you cannot understand. So, deities is there. Deity is there. Very nice deity. But, how you know? If you take me anywhere, any temple, if I can, by the mercy of Gurudev Prabhu, I can look at the deity, then I can understand actual arati, actual seva going on or not. Any arati. I am not speaking any temple, particular to any temple. You take me, I can look by the mercy of Gurudev and Prabhupada, can realize this not getting proper seva. Not getting proper not getting proper seva. So, they are neglected. They are neglected. How much purity will have to maintain? How much purity will have to maintain for Bhigra seva, deity seva? You have no idea. You have no idea how much purity you will have to maintain to worship deity inside temple. So, they are doing arati, mayavad, everything doing, but it is not there Seva. There it is one kind of drama. So, Mayavad, in Mayavad it is written, Mayavadi Vichar, it is written that for the time being, Mayavadi speaking, Mayavadi speaking, that for the time being, for our concentration, we need to concentrate. We need to concentrate, otherwise we cannot come out successful in our Brahma feelings. So, for the time being, we are accepting one deity in front. I Radha Govinda. Sadho what is the philosophy? Sadho kanam hitar thayo brahma rupa kalpana. Try to get this point. Very important, don't forget. Sadho kanam hitar thayo brahma rupa kalpana. For the time being, we are temporarily. Uh, thinking one form of Brahma, in the form of Radha Govinda. Actually, they are idol. They are actually puppet. For the time being, for our benefit, so that we can concentrate at least, so we are uh, uh, keeping deity inside our temple. So what they are speaking? They are Siddhanto. Sadho kaanam hitar thayo, for the benefit of our uh, practice, we are for the time being accepting one form of Brahma. Actually, Brahma is formless. Actually, Brahma is formless. Brahma is formless. Oh. But at the but for the time being, we are going to accept one form so that we can get some uh, facility. We can concentrate, no? So you see the dangerous philosophy. 
So you can laugh. After hearing their Guru Tattva, after hearing their Bhagavad Tattva, who, even our Gauriyama, small boy can laugh. But their mood, of, their external mood, I mean their enthusiastic way, they are doing all Usab. All Usab, how much you are spending? How much you are spending? Nothing. All over the world, and especially in Bharat, all Mayavadi. Even in America also. I don't like to speak their name, all Mayavadi. Big, big country. All Mayavadi getting power. This is the manipulation of Maya. Maya, they want to arrange the situation in such a way that at present, Mayavadi, they can get honor, position. Devotee, actual devotee, nobody wants. Nobody wants to have useless. It's not devoted. Useless. But Mayabadi, they're getting money, position, all, all, everything. So you understand, no? So, Sarvam Bhattacharya is one kind of such personality. So I understand, you understand? So much thing I'm speaking. So now you realize the position of Sarvam Bhattacharya. Now you understand. What is the position of Sarva Mataj? He is this kind of personality. Never he believed Guru Vaishnava, Bhagavan, his eternal name, nothing. But his external etiquette is very good. Very very pure, maintaining purity, everything. So, Mahaprabhu, with Mahaprabhu, he started argument. I already told. He is feeling disgusted. He is feeling insulted. You are a young man. You are giving lesson to me. How dare you give lesson to me? I am, my name is Sarbam Vatejo. And you are a young boy at 24, 23, 22. You are going to give lesson. So long I was feeling so much affection from you. So I told, I thought that I can guide you. Now you see, you can guide me. Eh? Now you find you can guide me. So, heresity. Eh? Mahaprabhu, still with polite moods, wanted to explain very gradually. Sarvamamo, you just think you are so much educated. You just think over and again. If Brahma is devoid of any power, energy, no form, no power, then the conception of your Brahma, then your conception of your Brahma is like a matter. Inert object, inert object, no? inert object. Then Sarva Brahma, who can, who can take trouble to worship this kind of Brahma, who is formless, no power, nothing, only one kind of conception. Still Sarva Brahma started Fighting with, still Sarvamo started fighting with, <coughs> still Sarvamo started fighting. He is not going to stop. You can remember, for the past two, three days, I wanted to, I was very much interested to discuss some points, basic points of Vedanta. So that you can grow in a basic conception. So that at least you can grow some basic conception about what is Vedanta. That is my effort. And after that you can understand the, what is the reason of fighting between Sarva Matajaju and Mahaprabhu. Who is Mahaprabhu and who is Sarva That comparative statement is very easy. So up to yesterday I told Athat Brahma Jigyasa. After that what I told, uh, eh? uh, Janma Daso Yatu, after that what I told, uh, after that Sasto Janitvat, after that Tattu Samanayat, that I all I told. So I like to touch uh, two slok more. Two more slok, if I discuss, after that it will be, you can uh, feel some, uh, some, you can feel easy. Ikshate no ashabdhyam. Ikshater no ashabdhyam. 
ikshater no asabdyam. This sloka, you can try to realize. Ikshater no asabdyam means it is advice, complicated way of expression. Vedanta means there is some secret expression. So, how you can understand? Ikshater no asabdam. Don't try to see which is not actually sabda. Huh? What you say? Like a crazy. Don't try to see, don't try to see what is not actual sabda. Sabda? You can see sabda? We never heard. We never heard. Sabda can be seen. Yes, sabda can be seen. Sabda can be seen. Even in material world, if we, you are cardiograph, you see cardiograph everything, or what to speak previously, gramophone. There was big recorder and gramophone. Gramophone previously. Then that plate, you are going to, bakelite plate. You need to put in the machine, then you on, then start running, you put the pin, you are, sub, you are going to put the pin in the first track, then the track is moving and you are hearing song. Hearing song? So what does it mean? What does it mean? Sound surely have some, have some sarup. If not so, how is possible for you to record that? Sabda have some, material sabda also. Material sabda has some sarup. It may cardiograph. Jig, 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 jig. So what is this? It is the direct uh, expression of your heartbeat. Eh? Cardiograph. So what does it mean? Sound of your heart you are going to get in the form of graph and chart this way. So this way it can be proved that even material sound they have some sarup. Maybe you cannot realize. Material saru. So, ikshater no asabdam. Follow. You try to understand the some, some fallacy you can find in the material world. Bhagavan having a prakito sense organ. That sarvam vataja you don't like to accept. Anyhow, he is not ready to accept. No. Bhagavan speaking, you see, all sense organ of Bhagavan, all, any sense organ, like Bhagavan has ear, nose, eyes, hand, leg, everything. But Sarvam Vatajaju is not ready to accept. Because he is going to quote one or two sloka from uh, Upanishad, it's formless. Bhagavan speaking, Bhagavan not formless. But formless is also one kind of expression. But inside, inside that you can find form, nice eternal form of Bhagavan. Eternal form of Bhagavan is there. Sarvamo, you try to understand this point. It's not the question of fighting. It's the not question of fighting, you should realize. Bhagavan have a hand, leg, everything. He is coming in front of us. He come in darshan of devotees, playing with devotees. All our Guru Varga, most of them, they come out successful. Prabhupada many times saw Bhagavan. Directly in course of 100 crores of Namjogya in Chaitanya Mahat, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, appeared, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Panchatattva, all, Nityananda, Advaita, all appeared. And all Gauriya devotees, they appeared. Prabhupada looking. Hey, Bhimala Prasad, try to, try to go for preaching. Preaching? How I can preach? No money, no manpower, money power, nothing. How I can preach? They are blessing. All coming behind you. You try. Everything I'm going to say, money, you know, man, power, everything can come. Directly, Prabhupada. Directly. Prabhupada watching. Bhagavan is walking. 
But you cannot believe. In our material world, you can see that one snack. Have you seen ear of snack? Have you seen? Why? Then how how snack hearing? You have sneak, you have seen the ear of snack? No ear. Uh, without ear, how snack hearing? How? No ear, really so, no ear. But still snack hear, hearing. How? By the help of eyes. Eh? By the help of eyes, yes. By the help of eyes, snack is watching everything at the same time hearing also. Both function. So in material world, this kind of fallacy you can see. But still you are not ready to accept Bhagavan, who is Aprakita sense organ can do anything. By the help of eyes, Bhagavan can take prasadam. By the help of ear, Bhagavan can see. Any sense organ of Bhagavan can act, any function of any sense organ. That I can explain tomorrow. Today, no time, actually, main thing I'll have to discuss. So, ikshater no ashabdam. Don't try to concentrate in material sound to see. Material sound can be seen. And whereas, here it is ikshater no ashabdam. Ashabdam means, which is not a prakita shabdo, which is not a prakita shabdo, don't try to concentrate in it. Don't try to see it. A sound can be seen. So, sound can be seen. And aprakito sound, very much you can see. Aprakito sound, you cannot see. Still today, you are not growing realization. Still today, you are not growing real. Aprakito sabdo, when Gurudev giving mantra, Krishna mantra, sometimes it happens so, like the case of uh, the case of Srinivas Acharya. Srinivas Acharya giving mantra to whom? Srinivas Acharya giving mantra to Ramchandra Kaviraj. Srinivas Acharya giving mantra to Ramchandra Kaviraj. It is written in Brihad Bhagavatam Brito, not only Brihad Bhagavatam, Nishingo, Kivale, Paricharja, what I published 12 14 years back. They are all written. Nishinga Paricharja one book. It is not the worshipping of Nishinga. Nishinga the way one can, it is a book like Hari Bhakti Vilas. Nishinga Paricharja, when one book which was written 900 years back. 900 years back, written by Krishna Deva Acharya. He wrote, even before Hari Bhakti Vilas. 900 years back, it was compiled by Krishna Deva Acharya. It is a book like Hari Bhakti Vilas. All different information, how to accept Bhoto, how what is the system, everything. So there also, it is written, whenever you are going to accept mantra, if your position is very high, I mean submission is 100%, then immediately when Gurudev giving mantra, you can feel some reaction. The same thing, I already explained in Brihad Bhagavad Amrita. When Gopakumar was given mantra, when Gopakumar was given mantra by his guru, name of guru is Jayanto, one Paramangsa. One day Gopakumar watching his Gurudev in long ago. I am now coming to the last end point. Still, it will take maybe one year or two years, I don't know. So, that time I was discussing. That time, Gopakumar, in a, uh, at the bank of Jamuna, finally, suddenly he watched one guru. He was in puzzling condition, not feeling any satisfaction. Anyhow, he is not feeling any satisfaction, very painful heart. In the forest at the bank of Jamuna, suddenly watch his Guru. Guru speaking, hey, go and take bath in Jamuna. Go and take bath in Jamuna and come back to me. 
I can give you mantra. Gopakumar taking bath in Jamuna and receiving mantra from Gurudev. It is written after getting that mantra, Kamgayati Kambij, Gopakumar was faint, gone into faint condition, unconscious, fall down. Oh, mantra has a big reaction inside. Mantra is a big reaction because Gopakuma is not duplicate personality, no duplicity, very genuine, very much interested to know. So when Sadhguru given mantra, immediately Gopakuma feeling uh, sensation, reaction, immediately feel some reaction. That means mantra and the mantra devota. That means mantra, the mantra Guru they have given, and mantra, what mantra? Mantra going to indicate the Ishwar, Bhagavan. Suppose I am taking Krishna mantra, come guys. So while doing mantra, chanting, if I cannot see that mantra devota, then my chanting is incomplete. My chanting is incomplete. If I cannot see mantra devota, it is the rules. Now at present nobody teaching you, but is the, you should learn it. Each and every time when you are doing mantra, when you are doing Gayatri, when Matajis, they are not getting Gayatri, due to some reason. Anyway, when you are doing Gayatri, what is the rules? In the morning time, very early, 4 o'clock, 4.30, you have to concentrate your mind into the Sun God. Sun God there, in the life of Sun God, you can see Gauranga, molten gold. Sunlight is also molten gold, and you can find Gauranga there, Brahma Gayatri. Hello. When you are chanting Gauranga mantra, you can see golden avatar, Gauranga. If you cannot see, then your mantra is not. Appropriate mantra you are not doing. So, mantra and the mantra indicating that that Ishwar. Kam Gayatri indicating Krishna, Kam Dev. So if you are not doing in order properly, then your chanting is not complete. You can go on chanting for a long time, you can get and cannot get any result. Follow what I say. So with the case of Gopakumar, you can grow direct feeling that Gopakumar. His Gurudev was Siddha Mahatma. His, Siddha Mahatma, Bhagavan speaking, your Gurudev is my own, you know, Parikar. He is giving mantra. Mantra means he is giving myself to you. Mantra means not only some sound and word. Mantra means with through mantra, he already gave me to you. So, Gopakuma started feeling. Similar feeling you can you can get in your life if your Gurudev is Sadguru and you are also Sad, genuine. So, this way, all Krishna mantra, like one incident long ago, I told you, can you remember? One long ago. Long mean, I think this time also I told. I think seven or eight days. One day, some small devotees in Chaitanya Mahat under a tree discussing among themselves. Popat is actually elevated devotee, eternal parsad of Bhagavan. But why? We are getting Harinam from Popat. We are getting Harinam from Popat. But why we are not feeling so much? What? Then one senior devotee passing through that place. Hey, what discussion? No, no, nothing. I, I can also share your feeling. I can also I can also share your feeling. Why not you speak to me? You are my godmother. They, they are taken Harinam newly, small boys. Actually, we are thinking, we have taken uh, Harinam from Prabhupada. So, from, Prabhupada is eternal person. So, when Prabhupada giving Harinam, that's when Prabhupada giving directly, Prabhupada giving Krishna to us, but we cannot feel it. We cannot feel why. Then, that senior devotee explaining, like I told, I can remember, seven or nine days ago. Like one infant, small boy, small boy, his father, mother all gone, then all property, 
if you like to give hand over to that infant, man, a small boy, he cannot understand. He understand one lojan, biscuit or ice cream, he understand the utility. A monkey can understand the utility of banana. If you give a very costly, you know, golden a chain, he can tear up. He can tear up, no? Our Hanumanji Maharaj is a great devotee. One day, Sita Devi wanted to give, give him her own very costly, you know, pearl, pearl, very costly pearl, all chain to Hanuman. Hanuman, you take it. Hanuman taking the chain is very laughing stone. <laughs> Hanuman taking the chain, watching, is going to tear. She says, why you are tearing? I am giving it so costly. You can wear it and use it. No, I am just searching if there is Sita Ram or there or not. I find no Sita Ram here. That's why it is no value. <laughs> no value in my life. I want to see Sita Ram anything. So I find Sita Ram is not there. So it is no utility in my life. So I tear up. Hello. One bowl. If you give uh, costly fruits and will not can eat. But if you give all stool and urine, can eat. The utility they understand. So this way, our actual valuation of our life we don't understand. That is the main point. So that man, I mean that senior devotee speaking, actually Krishna given to you. Actually, Prabhupada already gave Krishna to you. But you cannot realize. But now you are very small boy. When you in course of doing your bhajan, you can get maturity. In course of your Harinam, you can meet with Hari. That Prabhupada used to send them many times. To do Harinam and to meet with Hari, all the same. That you can realize after. Now your condition is just like an infant, a small baby. If the lawyer is going to hand over all deeds and everything, all property, land and property to the boy, boy guess what is this? What I can do? After, when he can grow 18 years, when the boy can grow 18 years, then and gone, oh, this is the value, I, the utility. Money, gold, ornament, land, property. Similarly, we are like a child, having, we are innocent. We have no idea that Gurudev already gave us mantra. Harinam means direct Hari, but we don't feel. So this way we should realize, otherwise when Prabhupada giving Harinam, directly is giving Krishna, that if you are, if you are up to that position, then surely like Gopakumar you can realize. Mantra, when Gurudev gave in, Gopagumar watching the mantra devota inside heart, gone faint, unconscious. He could not bear. So, this way, Ikshater no Ashabdam. Here, Vedobya speaking, don't try to concentrate in material sound. Ah, that means, you don't try to be busy with material things, material sound. Any object, any object, particularly here in this India, Bharat, we say, it is, we are saying, jol, jol, jol meaning water. Name of that liquid, hydrogen and oxygen, H2O, here we, we, we know this term water, or pa water in English, they can say. Uh, we know Pani, Hindi, or uh, Urdu, uh, Bengali we say water, uh, Bengali we say jal, Hindi can say Pani, English can say water, Russian people can say Bada, Bada, can say Bada, right? This way. So what is the utility? So one particular object is attached with one material sound term. Don't understand. That is common term so that in our country, everybody, when I say Bada, they oh, he's speaking about water. But it was originally not there. 
originally Bada Jubad was, it was sound, some pandit or before, it is a matching sound. This is iron, this is water, this is mango. So, one particular shape and design, some property going to indicate you, it is, it is iron. Because you are, you, are, you are familiar with the property of iron. It is iron. Because you are familiar. But in other country, they can speak other way. So, this material terms, whatever sound I am choosing, this word I am using for this object. This I am using for using another sound to indicate this object. Different object, no? This is cloth, this is tree. This way you are using different, different sound according to your according to your facility, according to your uh, convenience, you are going to arrange everything. So accordingly you are teaching, learning everything. Follow now. Actually there is no eternal existence of those sound. You say mango, I say arm. So there is fighting. No, 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 we are going to see, speak for the same object. So you are using mango, I am using arm. So there is a fallacy. This is all sound which we, are which we are selecting to point out one, one object. This is tree, this is watch, this is book, this is, you know, what? all different sound. Actually, in true sense, those are fake terms. In true sense, because if I speak uh, pani or water of bada, this term in African forest, what is speaking? It can make no sense inside his heart because he is habituated to speak. This way all fails. So any or any object, any object in this material world, whatever you mean, you select some name to indicate it. But this name itself is a fake term. Just for the time being, you are using it after you die or when the object is already destroyed, the name is gone. Fake term. But this is not the case with Aprakita Sabda Brahma. If you can understand, realize from heart, this very scientific point, all ignorance can go away. In Aprakita Jagat, in Aprakita Jagat, when Parma Siddhar Goswami speaking, or Bhakti Mahaprabhu Goswami speaking, Hare Krishna or Vrindavan, or Madhavindu Puripad. Madhavindu Puripad, lamenting, crying. Madhavindu were crying. Ha Vrindavan, ha Nanda Nandan Krishna, Oi Dindyarda Natha Mathurana, Kadavala Kashe, Hirdvayam Tadaloka Kataram, Daito Brahmati Kim Karomi Aham. Our Madhavendu Puripa lamenting. Where is Krishna? Ha Krishna. But when he is shouting with Ha Krishna, Krishna is himself present in the sound itself, in fine form. But you have no idea. When pure sadhu is speaking uh, Harinam, Hari Kirtan, Hari Katha, with that Hari Bhagavan itself present, that is so powerful. That is why it's so powerful. One material, material man can memorize some philosophy of Bhagavan and speak. But you cannot get that kind of impact. You can hear. Reaction cannot be. But when realize soul, when speaking, each and every word, it can make some sensation inside your heart. Really so? What is speaking? I never uh, uh, thought it before. This kind of thing. Follow you. So, all time, when Madhavendra Bhariban speaking, that time when Krishna, that time he is speaking Krishna, watching Krishna, and Krishna itself present in the world. Krishna itself present in the world. Krishna is present. You forget. In our Shastra, Chaitanya Bhagavad Chaitanya it is written, Kali Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Avatar. Krishna taking the incarnation of sound, 
sound incarnation. This Chaitanya Chaitamito is the sound incarnation of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahapran is the sound incarnation of Krishna. So when Sukhdeva is speaking all Bhagavatam, then Krishna itself present. Not only that, but also it is the direct confirmation by Krishna. It is the direct commitment, confirmation by Krishna that whenever my pure devotee is singing and dancing, I myself present there. It is a, it is a direct commitment of Krishna. Declaration. Mad Bhakto Nara speaking. Mad Bhakto, Mad Bhagavan speaking to Nara. Mad Bhakto Jatro Gayanti. Mad Bhakto Jatro Gayanti. Tatta Tishtami Narada. When my devotee is singing my glories, be sure I am present there. Bhagavan speaking. Mad Bhakto, Mad Bhakto Yatro Gayanti, Tatro Tishtami Narada. E Narad, be sure, when my pure devotee glorifying me, there I present. They cannot see me. In fine form, I am there. In fine form, I am there, but they cannot see. That is the point. So, Ikshater no Ashabdam. Ikshater na sabdam means, Vyasadeva Goswami speaking, don't waste your time by playing with material sound. Try to concentrate in a prakita sabdha. And Vedanta, the last sloka, I can discuss tomorrow also, it will take time, but a clear idea. It will take time, one or two day more, but very, very clear idea. The last, a Starting slok of Vedanto, I told Athato Brahma, Athato Brahma. And the last slok, end, agdam, end point, slok of Vedanto, what is this? Anabriti Shabdhyat, Anabriti Shabdhyat, Anabriti Shabdhyat. More two sloko, that end point, Anabriti Shabdhyat, I can explain tomorrow. Anabriti Shabdhyat. It is a slope from Vedanta. This I can explain. And Gauna Shchet No Atma Shabdham. This slope talk, again I can discuss tomorrow. Clarify. Last, I cannot go further because no time. So, Gauna Shchet No Atma Shabdham. Today I wanted to discuss Ikshater No Ashabdham. This Tomorrow I can discuss Gauna Shchet No Atma Shabdham and the last slok. While well, after completing whole Vedanta, we can find but Anabriti Shabdhyat, Anabriti Shabdhyat, this we can this we can discuss with you. So Ikshaterna Shabdham means Vyasadeva Goswami requesting us, do why you are wasting your time with material sound? That's why I told now, somebody can speak me beast, somebody can speak you are genius, all same for me. Because all material sound, who is going to care? The man speaking is material, the word speaking material. So what kind of reaction you can feel inside me? Because I know material sound, let him see what is like. So, under the guidance of Prabhupada or Gurudev, Guru Varga, we should learn it. Banugo Simara speaking all rubbish, unnecessarily. But Banugo Simara personally not speaking anything, not passing any remark. Madhugo Simara speaking all rubbish, unnecessarily. But if they are not speaking anything, there is no material sound. He was, Madhugo Simara was speaking all rubbish by some. Anyway, drop the point. Don't. But what I mean to say, my point is that. My point is that somebody can, somebody can try to insult Guru Vaishnava, somebody can try to speak all rubbish, but Guru Vaishnava not feeling any reaction in their life. They are not feeling it. Very material sound. But there is no reality. Why I can become angry? That's why Bhagavan, I remember so many things. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav. Bhagavan Sri Krishna was speaking to Uddhava. That's why Guru Bhargava falling his track. You must follow, I must follow, same thing. 
Hey, yes, after one, uh, and I can forget, so first of all I speak. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddha. If somebody is speaking all rubbish to you, all insult you, don't feel any reaction. Bhagavan speaking directly to Uddha. Bhagavan directly speaking to Uddha. If somebody is speaking all rubbish to you, don't feel reaction. All material sound. So, what Bhagavan speaking? Bhagavan speaking, uh, that sloka actually, Bhagavan speaking, you see, uh, what is the sloka? I always speak. Um, Oti badam titik sheto nava mannet karichit. Oti badam titik sheto nava mannet. I can explain tomorrow, today, no time. Oti badam titik sheto nava mannet karichit. If somebody is going to insult you heavily, don't insult, don't insult him in return. If somebody insulting you, bear it. Bhagavan speaking. If somebody insulting you unnecessary, but you try to bear it. Don't give any reaction, so any reaction. If you are leading your life this way, you can get havoc power in your life. Havoc power. I promise you. If you can lead life this way, but it's impossible. Somebody speaking all the way, how Maharaj I cannot speak, you can see. Oti Vadam Titik Sheta Nava Maneta Karhichit. Uddhap. If somebody unnecessarily speaking all rubbish to you, don't feel any reaction. Try to bear it. And in return, don't insult him. That was the formula of Madhu Goswami Maharaj, Sridhar Goswami Maharaj, and Ambani Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Bhakti. That's why not. All speaking rubbish. Anyway, I am bound to stop. I don't like to stop. I like to stop whole night and days. But I have to stop. What to do? So, what sloka I started with? What sloka I started with? What sloka? You forget. Eh? I forget. Anyway, so let me remember. Oh, what sloka I started with? Anyway, so I forget now. I can remember. Maybe the other way. Eh? Ah, Anadi nidanam brahmo sabdu tatyam yadaksharam nivartate ortho bhavena pakriya yagatu yatoha vanchakalpudrasya.